You know, it's funny watching this stuff. This is a new video that was put out by the World Economic Forum. And for a lot of people don't realize that this is what they kind of have in store for you. It says Switzerland will be, oh, let's go back here. It says Switzerland will be the first European country to sell insect insect based food to humans. And of course the source is the Guardian. And you can see them scooping up stuff here. It says you'll be able to buy insect balls and burgers. Source the coop. And it says made from protein rich mealworms. And this is what they got in store for you. This is where they talk. I talked about this a while ago where it was like an article and it's like, would you be willing to eat bugs? This was when they all those cicadas came out of the ground and there was all these different articles talking about how you know, Americans should be eating bugs. <laughs> and this is this is what they have in store for you. And of course, they're not going to eat the bugs. They're going to be having traditional meat and chicken, etc. But of course, this is the propaganda that they propose to you. It says insects are a traditional food in many parts of the world. Yeah, it's typically in parts of the world where they're and people are impoverished. In places you look in places like for example if you watched um oh this i forgot the guy indigo traveler and he did this video talking about in nigeria and many of these places in africa where they are rich in resources but the people are deliberately kept in poverty and so you'll see you know feces and urine areas where people just kind of defecate out in the area because there's limited um there's limited areas where they have clean running water and they eat basically whatever they can get their hands on or they starve. And this is what they have in mind for you. And this is why I keep telling you, you got to have a plan. They got a plan. So you better have a plan. And it goes on to say, it says they are nutritious and easy to produce, right? And do you think that they're going to make these things cheap for you? And then you can see uh, increased insect consumption could make food production more sustainable, right? And they give you this narrative of how, you know, climate change, and this has been going on shit as long as I can remember. When I was a kid, I remember the whole oh, the hole in the ozone and stop using hairspray because it's creating holes in the ozone and all this nonsense and everything is going to be destroyed, you know, by it was like 2010, 2012 or whenever it was. It's like they just keep moving the goalpost back. But this is what they have in mind for you. Do you think they're going to be eating the mealworms? Do you think they're going to be eating the crickets? No, they're going to be eating that nice tenderloin, right? They're going to be having the beef and the chicken and the steak and the and the, and the fish. And they want you to eat the bugs. And it goes to that man, boost food security as the global population grows, right? Insects reach adulthood very quickly. This is what they have in store for you. This is what they want for you. Requires less land and use much less water. And this, this is the narrative that they pitch to you. They pitch to you this idea that, oh, we're, we're going to save the planet. And it's really just about keeping the resources for them while they give you whatever they think that you're willing to take. They'll give you the scraps. And they can also be fed on food waste. This is what, you see, it makes it easy. We can just give these insects the waste and then you eat the insects that ate the waste. <laughs> Point three billion tons of food waste every year. So why don't you just create, right? America is a consumer economy. You got 80% of Americans that are overweight, 40% of Americans that are obese. So why don't you fix that? I showed in another video how they had, it was like 1.5 billion masks went into the ocean. Nobody talks about that. No one talks about the 1.5 billion masks that went into the ocean that take 425 years to degrade. Man, we don't talk about that stuff. Not at all. No one talks about all these World Economic Forum elite people. They go to Davos and they go there in their private jets. and But they tell you that your carbon footprint is too big. But they continue to take their private jets to all these places. It's funny. Who was it? It was um, Joe Biden. I forget who. I forget the guy's name. It was the climate czar, right? He was the one who was in charge of, you know, decreasing America's footprint. But the guy was invested in oil. <laughs> it's just like this is the narrative that they want for you. They want you enslaved, right? But if you eat, if you but if we eat insects, and this is we. What is we part? 
fed on this waste, we can help create a circular economy. This is what they have in store for you. It's important to understand. This is why I say, right? Would you eat an insect burger? And this is what they have in store for you. This is what they have in store for you, right? right? From the World Economic Forum. And this is what they have in store for you. And this is why I continually say, just like they have a plan, you have to have a plan. Just like they commune together to think up this stuff in your behalf, you have to find like-minded individuals so that you're able to push back against this stuff. Because it, it's coming. I, can't, I promise you, they will find a way to push this agenda upon you. And it's just a matter of just a system of control. Just like this was a system of control. This is their plan. This is what they want. And this is what they have in store for you. If not for you, at the very least for your children. So you have to be willing to put up a fight. It was just like, there was always this old saying, you know, they show like these little kids like leaning up against a tree. And it was like someone planted yesterday so that you could have shade today. And that's that's the mindset that we want to have. We want to think about our children in the future. What will it be like for them? Are we going to plant trees today so that our children will have shade from the tyranny that they want for them, which you just saw in this very video? Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Leave your comments below and I'll check you next time.